Welcome to our lecture online and in this set of videos we're going to talk about uh, surface tension and associated capillary action. So we're again in the realm of fluid statics. Here we have a little example. Let's say we have a small little ring and uh, we have soapy film there. Or we have some uh, soapy water and a little ring down below here that can slide up and down. And so normally this ring would simply slide down under the force of gravity but because there's soapy film attached to it, it actually has a pulling action. So, in other words, this ring, this uh, sliding wire here, will feel a force in the upward direction caused by the surface tension of this soapy water. Now, the coefficient of uh, surface tension for soapy water is 25 dynes per centimeter. So, dyne is a very small amount of force. One dyne is 1 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. So, we're talking about just very small forces, but for very small objects, that does make an effect. So, then assume that the uh, force downward is caused by gravity, which we'll call mg. And let's say that in this particular case, what we're trying to find is we're trying to find out what the mass of this little wire is that's suspended from that soapy film. And, of course, that will then be counterbalanced by the force upward, which we call surface tension. So let's call this F, the force of surface tension, ST. Pulling upward, we have the counterbalance force for the weight of the wire. Okay, now the equation that we use for surface tension is the force caused by the surface tension is equal to the coefficient of surface tension times the length along which this acts. And, of course, in this particular case, if you have a wire like that, and we kind of take a cross-sectional view of the wire, you can see that the soapy film has a certain thickness to it, which means that the surface of the soapy film pulls on one side of the wire and pulls on the other side of the wire. So we have to take into account the length of the wire on both sides. So in this case, the length will be, of course, twice the length of this particular wire. And then in addition to that, we have to take into account the angle by which it pulls up. Now, if the film was pulling up in this direction, that direction it was an angle, uh, then we have to take that into account. So we also have to add that the cosine of the angle theta. But in this case, since it's pulling straight up in the same direction as the weight, then the angle theta here would be zero. And of course, the cosine of zero is one. But just to make sure that sometimes you need to take that into account. All right, so the force of the surface tension should equal the weight. So we can say mg is equal to the coefficient times the total length. So it would be this length plus the length on the other side. Just so that we don't uh, confuse things, let me call this um, small l. There we go. So that means the total length is 2 times the length of the wire times the cosine of theta. Now, since we're looking for m, we're going to divide both sides by g. So take this over here. And now we can find out what the mass of that little wire is equal to. So this is equal to 25 dynes per centimeter. Now, of course, we're going to have to convert that to newtons per meter. So uh, that would be uh, uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons per dyne. That's how we convert from dynes to newtons. And then for centimeters, we want to go to meters. So uh, meters and centimeters, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So now we've converted that to standard units times 2 times the length of the wire, which we said was 10 centimeters, convert that to meters, 0.1 meter. And finally, we take the whole thing and divide it by 9.8 meters per second squared. And if we work out all, all those units, we'll get the result for the mass in kilograms. All right, so 25. 25. Uh, times 1 e to the 5 minus, times 100, times 2, times 0.1, and divide by 9.8, and we get, hmm, let's see here, 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4. So we get 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms, and then of course if you convert that to grams, which makes a little bit more sense, then this would be equal to 0 0.51 gram. So that means that if a wire is suspended from a device like this with a soapy film on it, it will have a mass of 0.51 grams and it will then counterbalance the force caused by the surface tension of the soapy film. And that's how you do a problem like that.